Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Larry Ray, CEO and President of American Manganese. Welcome back to the show, Larry. I was glad to be on the show, Jim. Larry, what's passed your desk the past week that really caught your eye? Well, there's quite a few things, which I've narrowed it down to a few. There's a lot happening out there. First off, I'd like everybody to know that we were we had write-ups in uh, two uh, Bloomberg articles, and that would be the Bloomberg New Energy Finance articles. But they were sent out to uh, their subscribers, which means I couldn't access those to send out to our readers. But they were, they were good little snips on uh, American manganese, and it's always nice to be in a Bloomberg article. So that was uh, that was uh, lifting. I was hoping it was going to be out uh, in a regular Bloomberg article that uh, I could distribute it around, and uh, but it didn't happen that way. And I, I can't, I, you know, there's no way I can send this one out. It's uh, it's copyrighted or whatever they call it. So the uh, that's the first piece of news I have. And uh, we're going to have a couple of attachments, uh, you know, that are going to be with the uh, with this uh, podcast. And the attachments are uh, basically uh, the one that I really like is called uh, disruptors. And uh, the uh, and it's by a, a guy called Druck. And uh, it was written up. Uh, this guy, if uh, if you took a ten thousand dollar investment with him at uh, thirty years ago, uh, you'd amass a twenty six point two million dollar fortune. And he was asked. Uh, he shut down his uh, fund because uh, he was basically uh, reaching the end of uh, end of profitable years, year after year after year. So he was asked by Bloomberg what he was investing in today. And he said, they are long disruptors and short disrupted. It has worked beautifully. Now, as uh, our uh, listeners and shareholders uh, know, we have a disruptive technology. We're not going head-to-head with uh, Unicor or Retrieve or any of those companies. We're uh, basically have disrupted the uh, recovery of cathode materials from lithium-ion batteries. And, uh, you know, as far as I know, we're the leaders in that. So you could say that we are definitely fit the description of a disruptor. And uh, I think this is going to come to the attention of the market uh, sometime this year. Now, in uh, one of the Bloomberg articles, Bloomberg wrote about battery safety solutions are, uh, that we have a memorandum of understanding with. And they had a uh, interesting uh, dynamic to talk about, or, and uh, that was that they processed around 5,000 metric tons per year of bat- leftover material from car and consumer batteries in the Netherlands, which equates to about 90% of the lithium batteries used in the country. So, you know... We're in the with, with, with the right partner is what I want people to realize. Now, the uh, markets, markets, what are they doing? Well, they're going sideways. What's the direction going to be? Well, flip a coin. I, I really honestly could not say. I think that the direction should be up. I mean, jobs are up and everything else in the U.S., but with the dynamics of the politics down there, and again, the Democrats screaming for the impeachment of Trump. Uh, there's a lot of uh, disruption in that market, and uh, so it's really hard to uh, say yes. The market should be going up this year, or it'd be going down. Right now, it's going sideways. So we're hoping that you'll see a better market in the, the coming year, and uh, that we will uh, benefit from that. So the pilot plant, well, it's uh, you know scheduled to be moved next week. I knew I said Friday or or Monday, so it's going to be a couple of days difference there. 
And, uh, you know, it's like a pilot plant is like a uh, full-fledged concentrator, just on a very small scale, and there's always some things that you have to work out when you're putting it together. And uh, so, but it's going to be on its way, and it will be operating this month. So that's the good news. Larry, do you plan to put these uh, plants in... Uh individual cities instead of just one big plant, say, for a province or state? Well, that's up in the air. Uh, it'll probably be located close to battery re- uh, sources, so you don't have a lot of shipping going on, because when uh, you ship batteries, uh, it entails a, a lot of work. What we're looking for is, rather than just batteries, is for the battery packs, and because there are other recyclers that, uh, you know, take them down to the battery packs, and so we want to get those battery packs out of, uh, from the recyclers so we don't have to go through uh, a, a large shipping arrangement. Where is it going to be? Well, we'd hope it's going to be close to a uh, mega factory for uh, producing batteries, a gigafactory, I should say, and uh, or it could be in a central area, say, in... Uh, in uh, California, where uh, a lot of battery production is going on, and a lot of batteries are being taken out and reaching the end of life, and it could be in any country. And, uh, you know, we still haven't formulated the perfect plan, but uh, in all potentiality, it'll probably be a lot of licensing to uh, different countries, and, uh, you know, then uh, they will locate the, locate the equipment where it's needed, so, that's kind of the plan, Jim. Larry, where are you traded, and how can people get more information about American manganese? Well, we're traded on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol AMY. We're traded in uh, the U.S. under the symbol AMYZF, and we're traded in Frankfurt under the symbol 2AM. You can get all kinds of information at our website, AmericanManganeseInc.com. If you're looking for information, you can uh, phone us at 778-574-4444, or you can go to our website at AmericanManganeseInc.com. I think I already said that. and uh, Or just email me at L-R-E-A-U-G-H at A-M-Y-M-N.com. Larry, thanks for the update. You're welcome. I've been speaking with Larry Ray, CEO and President of American Manganese. I'm Jim Goddard. Our conversation took place on January 11th. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of House Street Media Incorporated. 